There's a passage somewhere that starts, they that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters. For centuries, men have sailed the great oceans of the world and merchant ships powered by sails and steam created in huge boilers by burning wood, coal, oil, and gas. But among all those ships that sailed all of those seas, there was only one merchant ship powered by atomic energy, the NS Savannah, the world's only nuclear-powered merchant ship. And the pioneering men who sailed her called her the greatest ship in the world and only they can tell the stories that start with the words, once upon a nuclear ship. The idea for the Savannah came from President Dwight D. Eisenhower in 1955. And it was a beautiful flat day and we had to stabilize it out and they were just uh, kind of trimming themselves with the little, little motion the ship had. And then all of a sudden, for whatever the reason, these stabilizers went the full, full lift. And it, it, the ship immediately went to about a 20 degree angle and stayed there. And in the meantime, the pool emptied out, handbags were swept over the side, drinks went over the side, the cocktail party was clearly screwed up. <laughs> About the third voyage, we got stuck in a hurricane and uh, you were there then, right? And uh, the reactor, scrammed out, which means it shut down automatically, and, and we, we could barely maintain the, the steerage of the ship. And what happened was um, we had uh, displays that were in the hole. The displays were used to um, entertain the lines that would come through the ship and when we were in port and when we went to sea, they were stored in the hole. But apparently they were not stored very well. <laughs> so. Not only did we rock and roll with no power, no steerage, no stabilizers, but, but all of the uh, displays were, were destroyed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no trick questions now, huh? <laughs> and you better research what I'd say because I'm not sure anymore. We have a very well-equipped hospital on this ship, and, uh, you know, because often they did have a doctor, and so there, there's an operating theater here and a couple of wards on board the ship. I want you to yeah. go down into the hold and bring up all of our our surgical supplies and we'll get the operating room ready uh, to operate on this guy. And we thought, well, you know, we measure radiation, but hey, we'll give you a hand. You know, every every ship has a soul. I believe, I read oh, that yeah. long ago when I was a kid and, I, and I've always been a firm believer that, that, you know, a ship has a personality, a ship has a soul. And, and for a long time I couldn't feel it with Savannah. And I talked to Stuckey about this uh, back in our days in the fleet when we were starting up the project. I said, you know, I just never feel it with this ship. He says, it'll come, and, and it eventually did. I, I think Savannah has, has kind of come to trust us, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, there is a passion to it.